Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be working through this exam style question involving the change of base formula for logarithms. We're asked to solve for x, and the equation is a logarithmic equation where we have log base 3 of x plus 1, which equals to log base 9 of 13 minus 2x. Looking at this, the first thing I want to draw your attention towards is the fact that the logarithms on both sides of this equation are not written in terms of the same base. And the first thing we need to do when solving logarithmic equations like this one is to make sure that both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation are written inside logarithms of the same base. In other words, our target for solving this type of equation is to make sure that it looks something like this. We want to have log of some base b of the left-hand side, and I'll just write LHS for left-hand side, and that's got to equal to log of that same base b of the right-hand side, and I'll just write RHS as in right-hand side. Once we have this scenario, we can get rid of the logarithms altogether, and we can equate whatever's inside them. In other words, we can go ahead and state that LHS, the left-hand side, equals to whatever we have inside the logarithm on the right-hand side, so equals to RHS. And so that sort of summarizes how to solve logarithmic equations like this one. Now, going back to this equation, the first thing we need to do is make sure that both sides are written as logarithms of the same base. And for that, we use the change of base formula. The formula states that given log base b of a number a, then we can write this in terms of another base, which I'll call c, using the fact that it's equal to log base c of a over log base c of b. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that formula. Do make a note of it. This is the change of base formula for logarithms. And I should point out that on the denominator here, the number inside the logarithm is b. And that's the base of the logarithm we initially started with. Okay, now that we've reminded ourselves of the formula, let's go back to our equation. To write both sides as logarithms of the same base, we can either change this log base 3 into a log base 9, or this log base 9 into a log base 3. Either one will work, but I tend to always try to write everything in terms of the smallest base I see, which in this case is 3. So I'll go ahead and write this log base 9 of 13 minus 2x in log base 3. And for that, I'll use this formula. And I can go ahead and state that log base 9 of 13 minus 2x equals to log base 3 of 13 minus 2x divided by log base 3 of 9, where just as in the formula, the 9 inside this log base 3 is the base of the logarithm we started off with. Now, using the fact that log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2, we quickly find that log base 9 of 13 minus 2x is equal to log base 3 of 13 minus 2x over 2. And now that we have this result, we can rewrite our equation. And we can write it as log base 3 of x plus 1 equals to log base 3 of 13 minus 2x over 2. Now remembering that what we're aiming for is something like what I wrote here, we need to get rid of this 2. So I multiply both sides of this equation by 2, which leads to 2 times log base 3 of x plus 1 equals to log base 3 of 13 minus 2x. I now place this 2 as an exponent inside this logarithm, which leads to log base 3 of x plus 1 squared equals to log base 3 of 13 minus 2x. And at this stage, we've reached the scenario that I illustrated at the beginning. Everything on the left-hand side is written inside a log of base 3, and everything on the right-hand side is written inside a log base 3 as well. So we can now get rid of the logs altogether and state that x plus 1 squared equals to 13 minus 2x. That leads to x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals to 13 minus 2x. And gathering all the terms on the left-hand side, we quickly find this is x squared plus 4x 
minus 12 equals to zero. And we're now faced with this quadratic equation. And we could solve it using the quadratic formula, but we can also solve this one by factoring. And in fact, that's what I'll do. In factored form, I find that this is x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals to 0. This therefore leads to two possible solutions, either x plus 6 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. And if I write that out, either x plus 6 equals to 0, which would mean that x equals to negative 6, or x minus 2 equals to 0, which would mean x minus 2 equals 0, which leads to x equals to 2. And now that we found these two values of x, it may feel like we're done. But careful, there's one last thing to do. We need to check whether or not both of these solutions are actually possible with our logarithms. Remember, logarithms are only defined if what's inside them is positive. Looking at the left-hand side here, it's quite clear that if we replace x by negative 6, we end up with log base 3 of negative 5. And that's not defined. So x equals to negative 6 is not possible. So that's not a solution. Not a solution. On the other hand, if we replace the x's inside these logarithms by 2, then on the left-hand side we'd have 2 plus 1 inside the logarithm, which is positive. And on the right-hand side we'd have 13 minus 2 times 2, so that's 13 minus 4, which is 9, which again is positive. So x equals to 2 is the solution. And there we have it. That's it for this exam-style question involving the change of base formula for logarithms.